just came or crafty came, I'm going to show you how to make this really simple jellyfish in a jar charm. It is great for beginners when you're starting out with polymer clay. All the items will be listed in the description below, so let's get started. Firstly, what you're going to do is you're going to take some translucent clay and roll it into a thin snake. Simply what you want to do is you want to flatten it, you don't want it too thin, and you want to cut off both of the long sides and one of the really short sides just to get it flat. flattened and sized, you want to twist it slightly and cut it in half. When you finish with the two twirled ones, you want to take either purple or pink translucent clay and just roll it into a thin snake. Have it to your desired size, just cut it in half and you're done with your tentacle. And with your next colour, what you want to do is you want to do the exact same thing as you did with the other colour. slightly difficult but it is. You want to take any ball of translucent colour that you want and roll it into a ball and put it on the end of a paintbrush. You want to make a hollow so you can put the tentacles that we made in there and have it to have a flat bottom and a slightly rounded top. done you want to take any tentacle and put the rounded bit facing out it sort them how you like when you're putting the tentacles in you want to also blend the tentacles into the little head so they are secure In. Now what you want to do is you want to take the tentacles and twist them into a nice spiral sort of shape. Now our little jellyfish is done. All you need to do is insert an ice screw. And when you're finished with your jellyfish, bake according to package instructions that we can get onto assembling. Jellyfish is all baked, you're going to take two screws and your cork, you're going to put a screw in each end of the cork and you're going to poke a hole in the cork on either end to make it easier to insert your screws.
after a bit of struggling, I finally got the jump ring on. Now what we're simply going to do is we're going to glaze the jellyfish. You don't have to glaze your charms how I do, but the way I glaze mine, it makes the charms really shiny. All you're going to use is Mod Podge and Femo Gloss Glaze. Now simply what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a thin layer of Mod Podge on my jellyfish. I'm now going to skip to the next bit. Now that our Mod Podge has dried, what we're going to do is take the Fimo Gloss Glaze that I was telling you about and put a thin layer on our jellyfish to make it extremely shiny. Our jellyfish dry again. What we've simply got to do is attach the cork. Now this is where I struggled. much struggling all I've got to do is attach the jellyfish to the cork and re-close the jump ring. After finally closing the jump ring what you want to do is put it in a bottle and you're done. Thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe for more videos in the future.